got him. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's no net on here, baby. Can you get that for me? are out deep so <sighs> dropping down that jig oh and yeah, about to fall off the john boat <laughs> black and blue first few casts drop down the juicy jig this is that half ounce if i'm not mistaken crack and crawl black and blue as the trailer jigs and uh, big swim baits is kind of my thinking today y'all let's have some fun oh fish yeah, yeah? yeah. okay what are you throwing that were you throwing the crappie bait you probably have a bass though <laughs> Devin's throwing out them Guggen crappie baits. Oh my gosh. Oh, so cool. Finesse. Oh, that's sick. I loaded down with the big rods. I figured we'd be catching them on the heavy stuff. Hey, there we go. That's sick. Push that plastic back up against the head there. Look at that. That's so awesome. Get you some things. Golly. Well, look, it's fun <laughs> catching fish. If we're not going to catch the big ones, we might as well catch something. See you, buddy. I also have a Texas rigged worm, actually. I'm going to throw that here in a second. It's a natural color. Yeah, I think they might want it downsized today after that storm we just had. So I'm going to throw a Slim Shake. New Guggen Terminal on there. That's the, uh, I think this is a quarter ounce. Yep, says it right there. Guggen Squad, worm weight, hammer hook. See if they want a little worm action. She's on again. Wow. Turns out they love the crappie stuff. Ah, ha, ha. Dude, when this crappie stuff hits the shelves, <laughs> y'all know how to catch them when they're not hitting the big stuff. That is intense. So cool. Grab you a finesse setup. Oh my gosh, she's throwing that on the BFS reel, which is the Bait Finesse System Shimano. Such a fun way to fish. It's got clicking drag, so if she does catch one that's a little bit bigger, you're going to hear the drag just like if it was a spinning reel. It almost looks, what does it look like? It's like a bandito bug claws almost. Oh, got him. That's actually, it could be okay. Wow, this die were real. Let me tell you something about it. It's cheap. Oh, oh, a tree. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my. Oh, there's no net on here. Baby, can you get that for me? Oh my gosh. That's like a six. That's a freaking five plus. That's easily a six. Come on. Come on. Get out of town. Not the claw. Oh my gosh. That's a big one. That's a freaking big one. Oh my God. We got to shut the front door, dudes. What just happened? What just happened? Oh, it was, no, it was over there. Wow. Oh my gosh. I don't think it's going to go for six, but I do think this one could weigh five pounds. I mean, this is a behemoth. Just out of nowhere, y'all. Natural slim shake. Four-aught hammer hook, I believe, is what I had on there. That's on the new Guggen Terminal. So stoked, man. We're actually going to put this one on the scale. I don't know if we've weighed many fish in the recent videos for y'all. Wow. It's just so calm right here. It's like crazy windy today, and we're staying on the side of the wind where this ledge has just kind of got us blocked from it and uh, we're gonna keep this fish in good health so we're just gonna weigh it real fast and get it back in the water but what a solid bass oh yeah she's over five yep 520 y'all which really just means five and a quarter this is on hundredths oh wow <laughs> that is a fish <laughs> How sick was that? All right, I think I'm gonna continue throwing the worm. Let's go. You stick with the coffee baits. <laughs> you, you knew it was big. Yeah, right off the bat, I was like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'll take it. I was like, are that you was. Your rod? Your rod I don't know what I was doing. You know you make me wanna shout. Wow. <laughs> I thought you were in grass. <laughs> I was like, oh, no, I'm in grass. That's what this guy's gonna be about. If you give him a few years, he might he might hit that same <laughs> weight class. I think either one is a good option. Oh. Catch up to it. Oh, it's a little guy. Almost need to swap out for the muscle rod. This uh half foot shorter go-to rod. Barely had enough length to catch up to it on that hook set. But there we go. Natural colored worms, y'all. What do we got? This one could be okay as well. Get on in here. There we go. That's seven foot medium heavy fast. Let's go. Okay, y'all. Slim shake doing work. See you, bud. Got one. Nice. Devin's on. Bandito bug. That was like right after she tied it on. Good fighter. That thing's going wild. Oh, no. 
jig ain't worth nothing. Yeah, you got him. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's not bad. Get on in here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> it's probably three. 3.3. Uh, Double up. Catch a fish. Behind us, uh, I went ahead and tossed on one of my favorites. That is going to be the Dark Sleeper. I want to say that's a three quarter ounce, and this is my biggest so far of the day. Not quite as big as Weston's, but good sunset fish. Let's get some more. All right, y'all. So we're, we're throwing a lot of baits. We weren't necessarily anticipating throwing when we went out today. And that's how it gets a lot of times for y'all on the water. You go out there with an anticipation to throw a new bait you just purchased, something you got confidence in, and they're just not hitting it. We were going to be all about jigs and big swim baits today. I just got distracted. Adele's over here losing rods on his kayak, hitting trees. And you know how it gets. Sometimes you got to switch the game up. So uh, we've been catching them on the worm and the dark sleeper. And that has primarily been it, really. I've been trying the jig left and right. Caught a couple on the T-rigged Bandito bug as well. We've had bites on it. Throwing the spinner bait out a little bit. It's not like we've thrown a thousand different baits, but Devin caught some on the crappie rig. We fiddled around with the drop shot until we lost it. I don't think we got any more terminal for it. Or not, no, we do. We just don't have all the worms on deck. I pretty much just brought the slim shake. So trying to rake them up here at sunset, y'all. We might get on a hot bite this last 15, 20 minutes before we got to load up. Let's hit them. Nice. She's picking up our slack. She's catching them off the back. <laughs> hey, I heard that slip. Is your drag tight? No. I was gonna say, dude, all I heard was slippage. Golly, okay, they're hitting everywhere now. Holy smokes. She's on, she's on, she's on. Adele's on. Wow, oh, he was right at the yak, dude. He's turning you. Something's going on, something's going on. What you got? Nice. Dark, sleep, burn. Toby. Look at that action to your left. Jordan, look to your left. Got your son. Big. Oh, you and Adele. Y'all got the babies? Yup. Doubled up, son. Are you on? That's three fish. Triple up. So I'm back on the Dugan crappie baits. Are you <laughs> that you got one? Yeah. There we are. Oh, God dang. They can't resist the crappie baits, boys. They're on, they're on just the small stuff, dude. Sunset Dugan crappie baits. This one's just a little bit bigger. This might do really good. He's like, no. Nah. Whoa! Dude, that's two pounds. That's two pounds. That would be a lake record. Oh my God. That thing's a slab. Adele just caught the biggest crappie you've ever seen. Hey, uh, should we take it home and put it on the Traeger? We got ice right there. It definitely, it, it, it is my biggest crappie. That's a huge crappie. You want it? Do we want to put that on ice in there or no? We should. We should. We should literally cook this thing up. This thing is sick. Unexpected catch. That is a, bro, that's a giant. Devin's on. It's wild out here. <laughs> so y'all know we just got this Traeger, all right? So I think we're going to take this crappie home, put him on ice in the cooler, and we might cook this thing up for fish tacos. And we got Jordan on over here. It's a wild night. What is going on? Just rigged up this new crappie head. I think this is a quarter ounce with like a baby saucy swimmer. I forget what we're calling these, but what a beast of a setup. I'm trying to catch one on this thing before the sun really sets. Jeez, dude. That's a tub right there. That's what you got him on? Yeah. Jeez, dude. Here, you can put them on. Sorry, buddy. You're good. I'm gonna provide some There you go. Dude, barely fits in that. That's, that's not a small cooler. That was crazy. Surprise catch at sunset. Going on the grill for sure. Alright y'all, we are off the water and back at the house. Thanks to Adele and his unexpected PB, we decided, hey, let's hit the grocery store on the way home, grab us a little steak, and let's do us a little surf and turf for dinner. We're also going to do up some veggies, some Brussels sprouts, we got an onion going on the grill, and we have some potatoes. So what we do is we just slice those puppies up, we drizzle a little bit of oil over them, and then we toss the Slappy Mama seasoning. It does not get much better than that, man, straight from Walmart. And the Traeger, which is making its debut in tonight's episode, is preheated to 325, so we're about to toss the meats on that sucker. Let us know what you would like to see us cook up next on this thing. We might even try and do some big cooks for y'all over here as well to tie in with the fishing, but you'd have to let us know if it's something you'd want to see. So we're going to go ahead and get everything cooking. We'll see you all in a second. Man, y'all, 
y'all have been holding out on us if you own a Traeger and aren't trying to tell us how sick these things are. We thought it was maybe confusing or something. Now, Devin's been wanting one of these for a while, but I've thought it's a little intimidating getting like this, a smoker and stuff like that. But these pellet grills are so sophisticated these days. Adele hit me with that text. Thank you for the PB, sir. It comes with a built-in probe you can toss in to check your temperature, so that's in the ribeye, right? It says it's currently 129 degrees with our target at 130. We're going for like a nice medium rare, so it'll probably warm up a few degrees after we take her off there. Inside the Traeger app, there's so many different recipes. You open it up and you pair it with your grill over Wi-Fi, and it shows you everything, man. So you can see the grill's current temperature, you can see it's set temperature, because it does fluctuate a little bit based on the outside temps and all that good stuff, right? And then it shows you your probe temperature and your goal. Now it's saying we're there. Let's go ahead and grab the steak off the grill. All right, so there's that probe. This thing gonna be juicy. Grab that onion. Be right back here for that fishy. Grab the fish off of here. Shut her down. Hot off the grill and ready to eat, y'all. Holy smokes, we had a blast on today's episode. Thank you all for joining in. We have got the steak cooked up to a nice medium rare. We let that thing rest with a little stick of butter on top to finish cooking. We got the fish and the veggies all ready to go. We hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and are ready for a whole lot more awesome videos coming your way very soon. You won't get notified, though, if you have not subscribed, so go ahead and do that with all notifications on. Hit the like button and we'll catch you on those vids.